What's up guys, Le Coffee Bandit here with a brand new LP, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Yeah. Um yeah, this is the game that I've been uh talking about this whole damn time. Uh hopefully some of you are a little bit excited. It's my first PS2 LP and one of my all-time favorite PS2 games. Um uh, I, I I've played some of the sequels. I, I played the second game. I don't really remember it, but this game just standalone. I freaking love it. And um, yeah, all right. So I guess there's nothing else to do except for get started here. There's lots of cutscenes in this game. Lots of voice acting that I'm gonna try and generally stay quiet through because they're usually pretty informative and funny. I got I don't, I don't freaking know. Um, as you can see, we're in Paris. Le Coffee Bandit. Joke, French jokes. Well, let's just start the damn game. All right, new game. Let's try it out. And yeah, that was my practice file that I started a while ago. For the first time ever, I have a practice file because I'm a professional, man. Sly, come in. Sly, do you <laughs> this Metal Gear Solid or something? I read you loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right. Air vent, okay. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do it. fucking Mario, oh my keep god. That running, Murray. <laughs> time. So there you get a little a little peek at uh, some of Sly's friends there, Bentley and Murray, they're sort of like his spy team. Bentley, the little turtle, sounds, I said this before, sounds exactly, freaking exactly, exactly, like uh, Professor Quack from Spy Fox. I, I still think it's the same person, but yeah, whatever. Um, so and then the, now the credits are going to roll. One of the big things I really, really love about this game is, while well, one, the cel shaded art style is like really cool for its time. You know, it's a little dated now, but I think it looks pretty awesome. And just the controls, to me, are almost flawless. Almost like... They're incredibly good. So we're going to go through kind of a tutorial here, blah, 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 blah. Um, and we have to go up through the ventilation shaft. You wonder if the ventilation shaft... <laughs> just the way... <laughs> I was gonna say the way she says it in episode one, but I don't even know if the alien that says that line is has a gender. I don't. I don't know. I always found that really funny. All right, we know the sparklies mean you can sneak. Hold down circle. Yeah, you're breaking the fourth wall there, Bentley. Um, and if it isn't obvious enough, Bentley is sort of, sort of like the brains. He's kind of like the Q if this was James Bond, and Murray is just kind of a big ass hippo who's really fucking clumsy and doesn't really do much that well. Um, but he's cool. I don't. If, I think that just the first like area of this game. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you were just like, dude, it's a freaking rooftop. Whatever. Just ugh, look at all the things like bu whirring around. There's fans and shit. I don't know. It's cool. I think it's really cool. Um, and I'm <laughs> ironically. Ironically, I'm a I'm a bandit, so I guess I was born for this role, man. I was born to be sly. Um, yeah. But oh, there's lasers. Oh my god. Um. So also, also the humor in this game. It's really dumb. It's definitely really, really like. I don't want I don't want to say childish, but it's just like it's really stupid and I kind of enjoy that type of humor sometimes so oh my god um, and there's just a lot of I don't know the level design and the and the general like design of the worlds in this game are just still for, it's really impressive to me I don't know uh, this is a game that just really successfully achieves having like a very nice, nice cohesive atmosphere to it Behind the red door. So we're, we're basically going into a police inspector's office and uh, stealing something from her because, you know, it's, it's a great way to start a game. Yeah, we're going to be stealing all sorts of shit in this game, so get used to it, fools. And it's locked. Whatever should we do? Super reinforced. I, I just, I love his voice. Ooh, rumble pack. This is the first time I've ever played with a rumble pack in an LP. Strap on your rumble pack. <laughs> Um, and coins and stuff. I'm gonna be trying very, very hard to 100% this game. Uh, later on, there are some actually pretty, 
Uh, don't don't let the kitty looks fool you. It can get pretty difficult, but I'm gonna try very hard to 100%. It. Yeah, yeah, he hacked into the mainframe doing the stuff, and then we're gonna open the thing. Nine, three, seven. Um, so we gotta go over there. Nine, and then three. You'd think they'd make better freaking safes than this that weren't just three numbers, but whatever. Look at my bushy ass tail. And ooh, what's that? It's me. Nice job. You got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting. Sweet, we, we got an escape car and everything. Good deal. And well, let, let's leave our little uh, our little calling card, the the slime mask, because that's real subtle and covert. Oh! You foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. <laughs> Reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my. Hey, you know that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Oh. Uh -huh. You think this pistol packs a paralyzing punch? You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous. Plenty of time <laughs> once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Okay, so we're stealing some sort of case file. She's gonna shoot at us because she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't like this very much. I do sense a little bit of sexual tension there, maybe. <laughs> Between those two, um, I don't know. This isn't like a total like kids. I, is it rated T? I have the case right next. To me. I'm gonna check. It's rated E. Never mind. Um, but it's not like a total like kitty game. I don't know. You know, there's some serious stuff in this game. Um, so we're gonna ooh, dodge her shots as she. Uh, okay, I don't even know if you can die at this part. You have to be like really bad at this game to die at this part. Um, as I almost get shot by a bullet. Um, so I guess she's gonna blow up all of her own cars. And we're gonna get in our van and drive away. Au revoir, madam. Lay exit. Cause French jokes are fun. What am I even talking about? Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmel. Well, these cutscenes are really cool. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when all right, I was major just plot a kid points, I'll shut up. on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Oh, with the title, Anyone he said the title! Learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. Aw, so they're, see, you they're good thieves. Master criminal, they steal from criminals. You're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy Death hands. Thunder Crash. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners well, of the world. That's very convenient. Dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my Oh, they're so cute. Crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. <laughs> Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Yeah, no pressure. So that's 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 basically the plot of the game. Uh, yeah, that means auto save. Uh, so yeah, we gotta go after. I wonder if they're gonna divide it up into five different worlds. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters. Thanks, Why? Bentley. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around. The okay, yeah, we know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I guess right away we should I've probably a route to our first, target. first target. Yeah, that's that's the first mission. There's Mario. I don't even know what he does at this point in the game. But um, I guess uh, this hasn't even been an episode yet. So let's let's just go to the first world. Let's do it. Are you ready? The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. <laughs> 
As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Okay, we're going to the Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in. Tide of terror. Yeah. So each world is sort of framed as like, kind of like, I don't know, an act. There's like five acts to this game, I guess, um, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, we're going off to after like an engineering pirate frog, who is apparently, I don't know if he's Welsh. He lives in Wales. I don't know. So we're in Wales, and it's raining. What a shock. And. Scottish, the, the thing that immediately reminds me of Scottish Frogs is fucking Max Keeble's big move. I don't know if any of you know that movie, but that <laughs> that frog McGoogles. McGoogles is my name. It's just, <laughs> I, I hope I don't sound crazy. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. Oh, yeah? That nasty looking gate. It blocks the only road leading into the Not the gate. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, 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 we know. Stuff that has sparklies on it, usually. That is correct, but do not forget slide. <clears throat> you have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, Man, grab lots of relax. fourth wall breaking going on. This stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. So, um, if you haven't played this game before, or even if you have, I'm pretty sure recently they came out with an HD remake because that's, you know, that's the new trendy thing to do with, like, every good game, like Shadow of the Colossus. They came out with a new HD remake for the PS3. Um, also, these little bottles... Well, okay, he's gonna... He's gonna explain it. <coughs> so you have to collect, like, clues every single... Okay, this guy's a pain in my ass. Um, you have to collect... Uh, clues every... There you go. Um, you have to collect... Clues throughout all different levels to get pages of the Thievius Raccoonus. Technically, I don't think it is required in the game, but uh, it gives you some pretty freaking awesome abilities, so it's it's worth it because you're worth it too. Uh, so yeah, there is a, there is an HD remake that just came out. Looks really damn pretty, and I'm pretty sure pretty soon I actually think they're coming out with the fourth fourth one. I, is it the fourth one? I was gonna say I know I know there's bottles up there. I know for a goddamn fact. There are bottles up there. I just forget. Oh, duh. <laughs> I was going to say, I forgot how to get them, but there you go. Um, yeah. I, I guess there's a fourth one coming out for the, for the PS3, but I don't even know. Uh, there's, a, there's a point in time where I really wanted to get a PS3 because... Um, Oh, also, 100 coins gets you a lucky... In this game, you don't have health. You get hit once and you die, which at first sounds very punishing, but it, it sort of makes sense with like the stealth aspects of the game. But I'm pretty sure 100 coins gets you... I thought that it got you, like, um... Gets you, like, this little lucky charm-looking thing, which get, allows you to get hit, like, an extra time or something like that. Um, God, yeah, there was a point in time where I really, really, really wanted a PS3. Um, should I go this way? I think there's like multiple ways you can go in there, isn't there? I think I might have gone, well, it doesn't matter. Um, there's clues over here, so. Some bottles. Uh, I really wanted to get it, basically, because, but I don't think I, I don't, I have like no desire to anymore, because it's almost at the end of its lifespan. And, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess, if you go in the light, you, it, it's bad for you. You done whining? Let's go. Just trying to Did you say acute combustion? Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Signal They're repeaters like plants versus zombies? Your progress. Nice. Thank you. Okay. I will be happy when all this tutorial crap is over with. But, I mean, PS3 is almost done. It, it doesn't really exist. It's not going to exist for much longer. That's what I'm trying to say. And the two games that I really wanted for it are never came out, basically. Uh, because two of my, like, really favorite, I guess Sly 4 would be one of them, but, uh, eh, eh, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, okay, good. Um, that was an alarm, by the way, I just knocked that down. 
Okay, Mr. Starfish, man. I don't like you, Starfish Walrus. Look at <laughs> look at his. It's really like a leather jet. Just some of the characters in this game are awesome. Um, the two games that I really wanted was uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and uh, The Last Guardian, which is that's the save point. Um, the Last Guardian, which is essentially kind of like a spiritual successor to um, Shadow of the Colossus slash Eco Ico, however you want to say it. Um, so we gotta get in his big ass blimp. Uh, this this just feels so much like Spy Fox. It's not even fair. <coughs> Spy Raccoon doesn't have the same ring to it. Um, oh right, yeah, he's a bat. He has like a bad weather machine. <laughs> his blimp, like you can see, there's like a tornado coming out of the top of it. Um, any, uh, I guess is that an episode? Uh, I guess that should be an episode. Anyways, uh, Sl uh, Sly, hello. Now that you're our new friend, my new friend at least. I don't know. There's bees. I don't know why there's bees. Uh, next time on Sly Cooper, uh, we will continue and get to Raleigh's hat out and play a bunch of actual levels. Uh, this is just the overworld right now. So this is the Coffee Bandit. Uh, hopefully you uh, are excited about this as much as I am. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>